Hello and welcome to day 15 of Oso Year January. Thank you once again for joining me. Um, today we're going to go through the a modified version of the seated sequence within the primary series of the Ashtanga primary series. Um, so the way that the primary series series works out is you start with um, your sun salutation A, five rounds, five rounds of your sun salutation B. Then we'll do the standing sequence, which we did last Tuesday. Then this seated sequence, or this is part of it. And, and then it finishes with the finishing sequence. So we're gonna look at the seated sequence today. Lots of nice hamstringy stretches, um, mainly seated, but we are gonna start with one sun salutation A, one sun salutation B, just to warm ourselves up a little bit. And I hope you enjoy the sequence. So let's um, so first of all, we need to, need to think about um, our Ujjayi breath. So just to remind you again, we're drawing the navel back in towards the spine, drawing the pelvic floors in and lifting those pelvic floors. And when, when we do that, we're keeping the core nice and strong and we're breathing into the chest. So we'll just take a couple of rounds of breath with our Ujjayi breath. Pressing the hands onto the knees, closing your eyes. Take a long, deep inhale and a long, deep exhale. Inhale, rise up through the crown. Exhale, draw the navel in, feel the pelvic floors rise and tighten. Inhale, grow a little taller. Exhale, pelvic floors, navel up and back. Inhale, breathe deep into the chest. Exhale, navel in, pelvic floors rise. One more round of breath. And gently opening the eyes. And we'll step to the top of the mat for our one round of sun A and one round of sun B. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms out to the side, up to the sky, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, lengthen. Inhale, halfway lift, look up. Exhale, stepping, maybe jumping back into a high plank, lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take five breaths there. Find your downward facing dog. Find the breath. You may want to pedal out through the legs in this first downward facing dog, finding that space in the hamstrings, finding that length in the spine. Find your Ujjayi breath. Tilt the tailbone up to the sky. On the next inhale, up onto the toes, looking ahead. Exhale, stepping, walking, maybe jumping to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, looking up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach out to the side up to the sky, exhale, hands to our hearts, and release, sun B, inhale, bend knees, sweep fingers for chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping or jumping back into a high plank, lower down for chaturanga, and inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Turn the right heel in. Step the left foot forward, arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Step back and lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Turn the left heel in. Step the right foot forward, arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, hands back down. Step back and lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. And 
reconnect with your breath. Take the shoulders away from your ears. Draw the shoulder blades together. Feel them sliding down the spine. Long, deep inhale. And a long, deep exhale. Inhale up onto the toes, look ahead. Exhale, step or jump into a seated position. Extend the legs out in front. So we're going to walk the heels forward for Paschanottanasana. Place the hands down either side of the hips and lift up through the chest, up through the ground, crown and draw the chin gently down towards the chest, gazing to the big toes. And breathe. We hold each of the seated poses for five breaths. Draw the navel in towards the spine for the pelvic floors rising. Draw all 10 toes towards you. Feel the knees relax down towards the ground. And the shoulders relax away from the ears. Long deep inhale. And a long deep exhale. We're going to inhale, take a seated vinyasa to move from one pose to the next. So we inhale, lift the legs, reach the arms forwards. As we exhale, we cross the ankles, draw the feet nice and close into the body. As you reach the arms forward and step back into a high plank and lower down for your choice of chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up onto the toes, look ahead. Exhale, step or jump into a seated position, extend the legs out in front again. Maybe remove the flesh from under the sit bones. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, folding forward. See if we can catch the big toes from inside the big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Take the elbows out to the side. Bring the chest towards the knees. Again, draw all 10 toes towards you. Belly towards thighs. Feel that lengthening through the backs of the legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly come all the way up, take the arms up to the sky. And exhale, we're going to come into B. Maybe we can take the hands outside of the feet. Maybe we can interlace fingers, or you might be able to catch the wrist. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. If reaching forward is rounding through the back, then maybe don't interlace the fingers. Just maybe bend the knees a little because we want to bring the chest forwards, the belly towards the thighs and the shoulders away from the ears. Stay with the breath. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. One more breath there. And inhale, slowly coming up, we're going to rest back onto the forearms. Place the hands where the elbows were, and we're going to point the toes and lift through the hips. Keep lifting, lifting through the hips. We want the big toes touching the ground, or all the toes touching the ground ahead. Open the chest, allow the head to hang back if that's comfortable. If this feels too much, we could bend the knees, take the soles of the feet to the ground and lift through the hips here for tabletop. Again, maybe look up to the ceiling, maybe allow the head to hang back. Stay with the breath. Two more breaths there. And 
and slowly come down. Seated vinyasa to change pose. Inhale, lift through the legs, reach the arms forwards. Exhale, cross ankles, leaning forward. Step, maybe jump back, lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or jump into our seated position. And extend the left leg out. We'll bring the right foot. So it's pressing against the inner left thigh, really nice and close up towards the body. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. And exhale, reaching. Maybe we can reach the foot. Maybe we're reaching outside of that extended leg. Each inhale, lengthen. And each exhale, fold. Feel that nice lengthening through the back of the left leg and the hamstrings. And also feel that nice opening, that nice release in the left side of the lower back. Draw the navel into the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. One more breath. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. We'll do a half vinyasa to change sides. So for half vinyasa, we'll inhale, lift. Exhale, cross our ankles, press the hands down next to us. Maybe we can lift the hips up off of the ground, the bottom off of the ground. Maybe we can get the feet up as well. And drop ourselves back down. We'll change sides, extend the right leg out. Bring the left foot to the inner right thigh. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. And exhale, fold over that leg. Again, maybe catching the foot, interlacing fingers, maybe catching outside of the leg. Or once again, maybe we're going to catch that wrist. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. We're keeping space between ears and shoulders. Keep the navel in. And rather fold than folding between the legs, we're folding over that extended leg. Notice that with every exhale, you can take yourself a little deeper into that pose. Janu Shirasana. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. We'll come in to our full vinyasa. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross ankles, leaning forward. Step or jump back into a high plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or jump into a seated position for marichinasana. We're going to extend the left leg out. Bring the right foot nice and close in towards that sit bone. Leave a gap between the right foot and that's in a left thigh. Take the left hand behind the back. Inhale, lift the right arm up to the sky, fill the lungs. As we exhale, get rid of all the air. As we lean forward and catch the outside of the front foot. Maybe staying there, or maybe we could wrap that right arm around the right knee, thumb faces down. Catching fingers, maybe even a wrist behind the back. Inhale, lengthen through the crown. And exhale, fold, bringing nose down towards the knee. Draw that left shoulder forward and find that nice stretch behind the right shoulder blade. Find the breath, find your ujjayi breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. We'll take the right hand behind the back. Inhale, lift the left arm. Again, fill the lungs. Exhale, take the elbow to the outside of that right knee for a twist as we look over the right shoulder, draw the navel in. Maybe stay there. Maybe we can turn the left thumb down. See if we can wrap that arm around the knee, catching fingers, maybe a wrist behind the back for the bind, looking over the shoulder, wherever you are. We'll inhale, lengthen up through the crown, and exhale, see how far we can look round to the right. Inhale, 
Inhale and exhale. And release half vinyasa to change sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross ankles. See if we can lift everything up off of the mat before changing sides. Bring the left heel in. We're going to take the left hand. No, we're not going to take the right hand behind the back. Inhale, lift the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, extending all the way forwards. Maybe we can catch the outside of that front foot. Or maybe we can wrap that arm around the left knee. Catching fingers, maybe a wrist behind the back. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold, bringing nose down towards the knee. Find the breath. Draw that right shoulder forward. Find that stretch in the back of the left shoulder blade. You might find that that extended foot wants to drop out to the side. Try and keep the toes and the knee pointing up to the ceiling. For inhale. And exhale. And release. Slowly come up. We'll take the left hand behind the back. Inhale, lift the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee and twist. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown. And exhale, twist. See how far left we can look. Or maybe go for the bind. Turn the right thumb down. Keep the arm to the outside of the knee and see if we can wrap the arm around the knee. Catching fingers, maybe a wrist behind the back. Again, wherever we are, each inhale we rise and each exhale we twist. One more breath. And release, so you come back to the front. We'll come into a full vinyasa. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross ankles, leaning forward, stepping, maybe jumping back into a high plank, lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And step or jump into a seated position. We're going to come into boat pose, into Navasana. Reach the arms forwards, point the toes, lift the heels off of the ground. And maybe we can lift those feet off of the ground. Maybe the calves are parallel to the mat. Maybe we can lengthen, straighten those legs. Keep the chest lifted, keep the navel drawn in. And keep the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze to the toes. One more breath there. Cross ankles and take a half vinyasa because we're going to come in for another two rounds of boat pose of Navasana. So reaching the arms forwards. So for the second round, you might want to lower the legs a bit. You might want to hold under the knees. If you're pulling in the lower back at all, it's probably because you're rounding the back. We really want to keep the chest lifted. So find a place that works for you. And each round, it may be a little bit different. Keep drawing the navel in, keep lifting through the chest. We may have the toes tapped down on the ground. We'll take one more breath there. Cross ankles, see if we can lift everything up off of the mat. And final round, really working the core, but even more working the hip flexors here. Soften the shoulders, lift through the chest. Gaze to the toes or maybe even close your eyes. Stay with the breath. Nice, long, deep inhale. Nice, long, deep exhale. One more breath. Crossing ankles, this time leaning forward, stepping or jumping back into our high plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step or jump into a seated position. And we'll come into Baddha Taking the soles of the feet 
together, walking the sit bones in towards the heels. And we're going to take the thumbs inside of the feet. Open the feet as if we're opening a book. Inhale, lengthen, open through the chest. As we exhale, we're folding forward, extending the chest forwards. You might want to use the elbows to press the inner calves or the inner thighs open. Find the breath, shoulders away from the ears. Feel the knees drawing away from each other. Feel the shoulders slide away and down the spine. Keeping the spine nice and long. This posture allows us to release the lower back without needing the flexibility in the hamstrings from our earlier forward folds. If we feel like we're rounding the back, we might want to take the feet a little further away from the body so we can fold deeper into the pose. Keep drawing the knees away from each other. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come all the way up. This time interlace fingers around the toes. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown. As we exhale, we're going to drop the chin towards the chest and drop the forehead down towards the toes, rounding the back. Still feel the knees drawing away from each other. And rather sitting onto the back of the sit bones, we're rolling onto the front of the sit bones. With each exhale, the forehead just falls a little closer to the toes. Feel the space between each of the vertebrae and the back of the spine. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale, slowly come up, full vinyasa. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross ankles, leaning forward, step or jump back into a high plank. Lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll step or jump into a seated position. And we'll lay back onto our mats. First two fingers on the right hand. See if we can catch in between the big toe and the second toe. As we inhale, we're going to lift up through the chest, the shoulders. We're pressing through that right heel and we're bringing forehead to shin, shin to forehead. Keep the left hand down on the left thigh, trying to keep that thigh down towards the ground. And the right elbow is pulling out to the right side. So both legs are straight, if we can. Stay with the breath, draw the navel in. Feel the lower back pressing down into the mat. Shoulders away from the ears. For inhale. And exhale. And slowly rolling back onto the mat. Keep holding onto the big toe and we'll take that right leg out to the right side, looking over the left shoulder. So if this feels too intense, bend the knee and take the right knee out to the right side. But whichever position we choose, try and keep this left hip down. So if the left hip rises up and that right foot comes down to the ground, we've probably gone too far. We might be able to keep the foot down, but we really want to keep this left hip down. Find the breath. Draw that right toe in and up towards you. Two more breaths. And slowly come back to center. Take the hands behind the uh, knee, maybe the calf, maybe the ankle or the heel. Bring nose to knee 
and to release. Ready for the other side. First two fingers on the left hand, catching big toe from inside the big toe on the left foot. So press through that left heel. Inhale, lift through the chest, the shoulders, bring forehead to shin, shin to forehead. And soften the shoulders away from the ears. Again, try and keep this right thigh down and flex the right foot. With each exhale, the forehead comes close to the shin, the shin comes closer to the forehead. Keeping that leg straight. Inhale. And exhale. Rolling back onto the mat. Keep holding onto the big toe if we can. Put that left leg out to the left side as we look over the right shoulder, placing the right hand onto the right hip, really trying to draw that hip down. Both the shoulders have equal weight distribution on the mat. Both of the buttocks have the equal weight distribution on the mat. So again, if this feels too intense, you can bend that knee and take the knee out to the side. Just listen to the body and take the adjustments that work for you today. Stay with the breath, draw the navel in, pelvic floors lifted. We stay with that Ujjayi breath. One more breath. And inhale, slowly come all the way up. Catch the back of the calf, maybe the ankle, maybe the heel, nose to knee. And release. We're going to hug the knees into the chest, cross the ankles, rolling ourselves forward. Step or jump back into our high plank, lower down for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward. Facing dog, step or jump into our seated position and lay back onto our mats. For Shavasana, open the chest, hands or palms facing up, feet flopping out to the side and breathe. Just allow the belly to be soft. Let go of any thoughts, let go of any attachments to any of the shapes we've tried to create in this flow. And just notice the breath settle. Breath soft. And as you exhale, allow yourself to relax a little more deeply. Relaxing a little more with each breath. And then start to deepen the breath, lengthen the breath. Bring your attention back into the room. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Hugging the knees in to the chest. Rocking from side to side as you roll over to one side, find a fetal position, a new beginning. And whenever you're ready, keeping your eyes closed, push the hands down in front of your chest. Push up into a comfortable seated position. We'll inhale, take our arms out to the side, up to the sky, filling lungs, filling belly. 
Exhale, bringing hands to our hearts, sealing our practice, bowing our heads for Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do a cleansing practice tomorrow. So I'll see you then.